Global semiconductor sales are forecasted to increase by 15% this year, much faster than global GDP growth. Most of the growth is driven by the sales of AI-related chips that are expected to reach $150 billion this year. NVIDIA will account for 80% of the AI chip sales. More importantly, just four companies, Microsoft, Alphabet, Meta, and Amazon, will account for half of NVIDIA sales. The reason why NVIDIA sales are concentrated among a few large customers is because AI chips are very expensive. NVIDIA's entry-level B100 costs around $30,000, and the higher-end GB200 super chip more than double the price. A complete server system with a 72-chip server rack potentially costs over $3 million. This means to buy these chips, you have to have deep pockets. Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, and Meta are highly profitable and cash rich. Microsoft alone is sitting on $100 billion of cash and cash equivalents. These companies are buying expensive AI chips hand over fist, not only because they can, but because nobody else can. This way, these companies can rent out the computing power at a high premium. Their investment thesis is based on the assumption that the rental returns on these chips in the form of data centers that they help power will be greater than the opportunity cost. But rental returns are only part of what these companies expect to get back from the investments in these expensive chips. These companies have deep pockets because they are monopolies or near monopolies. By controlling most of the AI computing power in the world, it would strengthen their monopolistic power further. In other words, if their investments pay off, we will see a further concentration of economic power in the United States. There is much at stake not only for these companies, but also for the U.S.